gang. Yes, sir. We are back, y'all. We are back with another freaking video. video. And before we get this thing started, man, who we have up, man? We'll get you some of that Lucky Jack, man. Triple Brack Fortified Whack. Nitro <laughs> Express <laughs> Coffee. Triple and put that Whack. in your life, man. <laughs> we'll good, drink no any drinks over here. It's all coffee. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, this time up, man, we got the machine, Burt Kersher. The machine. Hey, man, guess what, man? Burt is from the A. Really? Bert is from Atlanta, I man. I haven't known that. No, nah, Bert, Bert from the A. Bert, that's what's up, man. And um, but shout out to Bert. Everybody keep talking about the machine. I think the machine was probably one of his most epic skits. Even though Bert has like a big history, I've never seen this. Okay. Um, but everyone talks about it, and based on 24 million views, I'm sure it's gonna be worth it. All right. So let's get it. Let's do it. When I was 22, I got involved with the Russian mafia. Here's how it happened. <laughs> I went to school at Florida State. I was not a very good student. I was there uh, like seven years. I was there th in most of the 90s. I, I was in college longer than grunge music was around. Darn. Look at that smile. Look at that. Stop it. Bert, wear your shirt. So, this is how bad of a student I was. One time, I signed up for a Russian class thinking it was Spanish, and it took three classes before I realized, I don't think this is Spanish. <laughs> so I got it to leave. The teacher, who was hot, he definitely worked out. Oh, okay. I'm kidding. I don't know. <laughs> okay. It was, a girl. it was a girl. And she was hot. She still is hot. She stopped me. She goes, don't go anywhere. I need 14 kids to teach this class. You're the 14th. I need to teach this class in order to get my master's. So, if you sit back down, you don't have to do anything all semester, and I'll just give you a C. I was like, uh, Strauss boots you, bitches. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Strauss boots you. So I took Russian one, two, three, and four. Never learned a word. <laughs> Think about what I'm saying. I took two years of a language. Took four semesters of my college career. Four, four semesters. Russian four was taught in Russian. <laughs> Do you have any idea what it's like to go to a class and sit there like an immigrant at the DMV all day? Like, <laughs> being a Russian four, same teacher pulls me aside. She's like, "We're taking a trip to Russia. If you go, you'll get a minor." I was like, "Okay, hold on." You know, I can't really speak, read, write, or understand the language, right? She's like, I'm fucking well aware of that. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta remember, I was taking tests in a language with which I was unfamiliar with their alphabet. That's crazy. Do you have any idea what it's like to take a test and make up hieroglyphics? <laughs> and the answer is star circle hashtag shoe. What? <laughs> what? You made your own? You made your own language. Look at that stomach. She goes, it doesn't matter. We need kids to make this trip happen. And if you go with all the classes you've taken and the ones you will take, dude, you will get a minor. And I was like, oh, that's all you had to say. Let's go to Russia and fuck some minors. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's a different, uh -huh. It was different minor, obviously. <laughs> Learned that the hard way. So we went to Russia in 1995. This is when the mob ran everything, and they told us that our very first night. They sat the whole class down, they're like, listen, we have paid off the mafia to keep you safe. In exchange for our money, they give us two young gangsters. I'm in the room like, this trip just got fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the word for gangster in Russian is banditi. They go, these banditi are gonna live with us, they're gonna walk you to class, they're gonna walk you back from class, they're gonna take you on field trips, walk you back from field trips, do not speak to them, they're in the mafia. Do not look at them, do not engage them, do not interact with them. I was like, well, they're going to be my best fucking friends. <laughs> <laughs> so the first night I grabbed a bottle of vodka and a six-pack of Baltica, which is our local beer, and I planned a sentence. I was going to say, Strasvutsya, menyasavut bert, ochim briatna, yadabota yu koshka. Does anyone speak Russian in here? I love that someone says no. No. <laughs> we did a head count earlier. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> I'll tell you what the sentence says. It's a badass sentence. I worked all day on it. Hello, my name is Bert. It's very nice to meet you. I work pussy. Oh. 
kind of. It really means I work with cats. I didn't know the fucking language. What do you expect? Uh, it doesn't matter, because the second the door opens and I'm face to face with a real Russian gangster with the wife beater and the tattoos with the track pants and the cigarette. <laughs> and he, he just stares me up and down. A frat boy from Florida State. I was wearing a fanny pack. Uh -uh. He just looks at me and goes, Stole! I fucking panicked. And everything I had planned on saying flooded out of my head. And all I said to him in Russian in his doorway was, I am the machine. <laughs> <laughs> and he started laughing. He goes, what did you say? I was like, I'm the machine. <laughs> he grabs me and he goes, come in and tell my friends. Brings me in a room full of nine Russian gangsters drinking and smoking. And he just goes, stop. Tell them what you said. <laughs> now I'm like, fuck it. I'm the machine! <laughs> they looked at each other, looked at me, and they're like, fuck it, he's the machine! <laughs> and I became the machine, and these guys That's loved funny. me. Guess yes. you get to scare, right? Right. Intimidated. Bruh. Scary. You gotta realize, though, the reason they loved me is I went shot for shot with them that night, all night long, until like four in the morning. But all I knew how to say in their language was, I'm the machine! <laughs> And I fuck cats. Uh-uh. Where was everybody else? Where was the class? The class? Where the classmates at? Outside so, that door. We did everything together. We, uh, like, the guy that answered the door, his name was Igor. He was, like, my best friend. We did everything together. We ran a pool hall scam. We stole a boat. Darn. It was literally the best summer oh, of my life. Oh, getting crazy. It's supposed to be on vacation. And then one day, the, the whole school. class is taking Classmate. a trip to Moscow. It's an overnight train trip. And I say to Igor, I go, this is going to be a blast. We're going to be in the same cabin. And he goes, I can't go. I said, why not? He goes, different mafia runs train, different mafia runs Moscow. I said, well, hold on. What's that mean for me? And he goes, don't worry. I set up banditi. I tell them about you. They'll take care of you. Sure enough, we get to the train station, and he introduces me to my two new gangsters, Igor and Igor. <laughs> <laughs> and he says to me, he goes, guys, this is the machine. If you give the machine vodka, you'll have a great time. <laughs> The big ear the two Igors looks like a kid on Christmas. He's like, oh, I can't wait to play with a machine. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs me and he goes, the machine doesn't sit in coach. The machine sits in first class with us. I'm like, that's what I'm fucking talking about. <laughs> we go to first class and it is pimped out with booze, food, and here's the real gangster part. Second the train takes off out of the station, everyone that works on the train comes in to pay their respects. The conductor walked in. What? Rips off the stars and stripes to his shirt, places them on my lap, and goes, this is a present for the machine. <laughs> okay. It would be an honor to do a shot of vodka with the machine. I'm 22 years old thinking, right. oh, these machine stories might have gotten out of control. <laughs> 22. We drink all the booze in an hour, and Big Igor stands up, and he goes, machine, we go to the bar cart to get more vodka. I'm like, fuck it. I'm in the mob. I'll do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> We roll into the bar cart like a big dick in a locker room. Just, not that I've ever been that guy, but I've seen it. <laughs> oh, my God. Smack. You know the look where everyone looks like, oh, shit, okay. Oh, someone's here. Okay, all right. <laughs> Igor looks at me, and in Russian, he says, machine, go behind the bar and grab bread. In Russian. In Russian. And I understood him. For a second, I'm like, I'm fucking learning. <laughs> I'm learning the language my way, not through flashcards and textbooks, but by joining the mafia. I get behind the bar, I'm like, Igor, I know what you said. He's like, go for your machine. <laughs> and the machine buying cheese. And I was like, see you, cheese, I got it. <laughs> Give me another one. And he's like, grab vodka. I was like, I already know that one. Give me another one. He's like, grab the money. I'm like, huh? <laughs> he goes, grab the fucking money. And I realized at that instant, uh, we're robbing the bar cart. Uh. And I'm the one doing it, hooked on phonics style. Ooh. I grab the money, Scary. walk out. Two of my classmates see me, and they're like, you're in so much trouble. Go back to our first class cabin, and within five minutes, the head chaperone of this train trip, not the whole trip, just this train trip, she was an English teacher who did not speak Russian, who hated me before I robbed the train. <laughs> she comes over to our first class cabin and swings the door open with that like liberal arts confidence, just. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is over. 
liberal arts you're company. Done. You're done. Stand up right now. You you stand up. Stand. How dare? How you're done. Stand up. <laughs> you ever looks at me confused, then smiles, takes a big sip of vodka, spits it in her eyes, and goes, "No one talks to the machine like that." Well, damn. Shuts the door in her face and goes, "Fuck that bitch. This is Russia." <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Don't worry, machine. When it gets dark, we have good time. I'm like, what the fuck are we doing when it gets dark? <laughs> Reaches That's in his scary. pocket, pulls out a ring of keys, and he goes, We're robbing the whole fucking train. <laughs> I'm a good person. I don't cheat on, I don't cheat on, this is why, I, let me tell you, I don't cheat on my wife. I don't cheat on my wife because one morning our whole family was in bed. The dogs, the cats, the girls, my wife, and we were just giggling, and it was pure. It was perfect. And I, don't, I thought to myself, I don't ever want to screw this up. This is the most important thing. This is what it's, life's about. And they got up to make cho chocolate chip pancakes, and I laid in bed, and I said, I will never cheat on my wife. I had a conversation with myself. I said, if I ever get into a situation where a hot girl's flirting with me, or I think she's flirting with me, and it seems like it could go further, I'm just going to cock block myself. I'm just going to look her in the face in front of everyone and go, I don't cheat on my wife! <laughs> she may throw a drink in my face, slap me, or I may be right. I, none of that matters That's to me. Crazy. What matters to me is that I don't cheat on my wife because I've already had that conversation. Here's the problem. I never had that conversation about robbing trains. So when presented the opportunity, I thought I'd be like, not me. I'm going to go back and work on my verbs. <laughs> But apparently, when presented the opportunity, I'm the guy that's like, fuck it, let's start with my class. Ooh. So we robbed them first. While they slept, if that makes it better. And then we bad. robbed the whole train. Low down. And if there's any consolation, we robbed me too. My bag was with them. <laughs> and then we drank all night long. All night long. Like, literally... Until 6 in the morning. Top 5 drunkest I've ever been without throwing up in my entire life. We pull into Moscow at 6 a.m. I'm pissed drunk. You ever been so drunk you're like, I know I got a piss, but I can't find my dick. Damn. Train stops. Sun's up. I'm hammered. Door opens. Same teacher. Not mad. Mm -hmm. Curious, right? Mm. She looks me in the eyes, smiling, and goes, I want to be the one to tell you they've alerted the police. And I look out, and on the platform... My whole class is standing there with a cop, talking. They're upset. They've been robbed. I get it. <laughs> Apparently, they've never heard snitches get stitches. Get stitches. Big Igor sees this and is completely unfazed. He's like, oh, don't worry. I talked to police for both of us. <laughs> I was like, oh, thank God. He cracks a bottle of vodka. I'm like, eh, I wouldn't bring that out to an officer, maybe. <laughs> Lights a cigarette, walks out to the cop who's taking a statement. The cop is taking a statement. Igor walks up behind him, grabs him by the arm, spins him around, and goes, Fuck you! <laughs> okay. That's just... Damn. That's when you know you got power. Exactly. We fuck you in the mouth! Oh we my fuck gosh. you in the ass! <laughs> we, I'm like, stop with the fucking we shit! <laughs> <laughs> Now the cop is just staring at me, and I hear him bark out, Pajon, good day, good day, which I don't even know what that means, but it doesn't sound like, you're okay, stay there. <laughs> All right. It is a come to Jesus moment where you know you fucked up. All I thought as I walked to the cop, who's standing in front of the class, I just robbed. Next to the gangster, I robbed them with, my only thought was, this isn't how I plan on spending my second junior year. Right. And the gulag taking hot dicks to the throat. Ugh. I get five steps from the cop who looks impatient as shit. He takes two big ass steps, grabs me by the arm, spins me away from my class, away from Igor, pulls me right into his face, and he goes, So, I understand you're the machine. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wow. Are you scared? Tonight you party with us. Wow. Wow. I was like, What? He's like, tonight you party with us, yes? <laughs> and I looked at him, and I was like, wait, I'm not in trouble? And he gets so close to me, I can smell his morning cigarette, and he goes, no. <laughs> Fuck that bitch, this is Russia. <laughs> Dang. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine that? No, but I believe it. Yeah. 
because Russia, hell of corruption, and then probably in the 90s too. I mean, it's still corrupt from what I hear, but in the 90s? Wow. Bro, that's crazy. You know what? Because it's what makes his story, it's, you could tell his story ain't about it just like make you fall on the ground. It's like a real story, but it's it's like it's like it's funny, but it's a real story. I wonder how he really felt in the moment. If it was like really scary. It's probably like when you when you see a car about to run into you, your heart. Yeah. Whew. Heart be about to jump at your chest, man. Hey. Okay, man. That was good, man. That was a it was a good I like how he talked about the story in, in details like that. And gave I you comedy. It was pretty humorous. Yeah, it was it was he didn't. I don't think a he made that unbelievable, story. Unbelievable, but you know. I don't know. I believe a lot of that story, but between the, the mafia and the police. But um, you know how it is, man. You come, you put a little extra on it, but you could tell some of that that, that story was true. But um, hey, man, that's the end of this one, man. So like yeah. always, man, like, comment, and subscribe, and also tune in to Snapper Red TV channel. The link is in the description below. Also with the Brian and Joy. To Death Do Us Part channels, getting ready to jump off. B and J. That will be in the description. Delo, B and J. So, man, Delo Headland and Delo Atlanta. Um, Turn on your post notification, guys. So, when we drop a new video, you will get it. Bing! Bing! Whoosh. I lost my train of thought. I just helped you out. The machine! <laughs> All right. Yeah. Be married, the big old mansion on the lake of Lambo and my carriage. They say I wanna be the only one, no baby mama drama, no could it, but it's sad, peace, other